What's going on YouTube fam? Today we're going to be talking about can you make quality films with less expensive gear? So I actually got this question off of Instagram from a guy named underscore creative Jason. Thank you Jason for your question. Um, directly his question says, do you believe that filmmaking is not limited to expensive gear? In other words, can you still make quality films with less expensive gear? And I've addressed this so many times, but I'm gonna answer it in this specific video for a final answer to that question. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, my name is David Lee. Thank you so much for stopping by in my video. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. And we're gonna be talking about this today. Let me know in the comments below, are you running on expensive gear or are you not running on expensive gear? Now, let's say that expensive is talking more than two lenses, more than two lenses excluding the 50 millimeter, this bad boy right here, excluding this guy because he's only $100 or so and a lot of people could actually get that. So excluding that lens, two other lenses, that run above 500 and a camera that runs above 1,500. That's gonna be considered expensive. And let's see who actually has all this expensive gear. Let's see what you guys are running. And if you think that's not expensive enough, name your budget that you think is too expensive and tell me what you have anyways. Just let me know what you guys are shooting with and are you guys running on a budget? Are you guys trying to make those quality films on less expensive gear? Let me know in the comments below and let's get started with this video's topic. So to start off this whole video, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Yes, you can make quality films with less expensive gear. I mention it all the time. There's so many ways around it and to be able to even afford that expensive gear. Let's kind of break it down in pieces. So let's start off with not needing or not even having the expensive gear. Let's start off with that. So when it comes down to it, the best thing that you can do is actually get that store. You don't need the quality. So I know a movie, um, Nightcrawler or something, the guy that does, you know, he kind of creates a really bad situation to get a news report on it so he can make money and he was actually a sociopath, psychopath, whatever. That video actually had a lot of noise in it. It had a lot of grain and that was from the high ISO levels. And I mean, yeah, they got quality content, but just, Imagine if that was shot on a lower end camera. A lot of it was kind of seemed kind of shot on like a GH5 or something. Probably not, but there were some low quality aspects to it, especially compared to today's, you know, age. Now, just imagine we watch all of these 1990s movies, 1980s movies, but they never had that quality back then. And we really enjoy these movies like The Shining, the we enjoy The Godfather. All these movies were shot in the 1900s. We still really enjoy them. Why do we enjoy them? Because of the story. The story is the most important part. We, we really don't care about quality. The only thing we care about in quality is is things like vlogs and stupid stuff that we really shouldn't care about. But when it when it all comes down to it, nobody cares about the quality. Nobody really cares if you're shooting in 4K or if you're shooting at 60 frames per second or if you have that slow motion. Now, it's all really nice to have, but it really comes down to what are you giving us? Are you giving us a good story? Are you giving us value? Are you giving us good information? I could shoot this entire video in 720p resolution, but I'd still be giving you the same exact information. Sure, it'd be an eyesore to watch and you'd see the low quality, but we can really manage. Every camera shoots in at least 1080p now, so we can all have at least that full HD video. Even phones shoot at full HD. So even with the, even with 1080 video, we can do stuff. So anybody can make anything. So you just really need to focus on that story. You need to focus on that individual content inside the video. So content before quality. Well, technically it's just quality before quantity. I guess you could say that, but just focus on the content itself. Like quality of the video, not quality, if you know what I mean. Like quality of video over quality of the video, you know? Just really focus on the story you're trying to tell if you're trying to go for a film or the content you're trying to put in the video, the actual value that you throw at your viewers. 
That's what you need to focus on. When you think about a quality video, never, never think about it. Don't think even, don't even think about 4K. I actually stopped shooting in 4K. I actually shoot most of my music videos in 1080, 10 bit now. I, I don't even use 4K. So, I mean, I could shoot up to 4K. You know, it's just a lot easier to just shoot in 1080, 10 bit, and it really works out either way. People like the videos, and I come out editing it and using everything much more happier, much more quicker, and it turns out really well. So 1080 isn't all that bad, and it's still something that people can use and you know see really well. 4K is just an option, but you don't need it. It doesn't really matter, 1080 is still viable. Now when it comes down to the lenses and everything, you really gotta know how to make it work. Now let's say that, so you want a shallow depth of field, sure. There's a thing in cameras that it's distance. So if I'm closer to my background, the background's gonna be in focus with me. But let's say, that I came uh, a lot closer to the lens, the background's gonna be even more out of focus than when I'm sitting right here. The background is gonna be more in focus than I what it was when I'm up here. And as you can see, the background really changes with the focal length and the distance between the subject and the lens. So that is one thing to work around the focal length. So let's say you are shooting on this bad boy here, the standard kit lens. This is a real beauty. Everybody has this when they buy their first camera unless they just bought the body. Man, that lens sucks, but you can definitely make it work. If you know your way around the lens, you can definitely make it work. Rather than focusing on the expensive gear, you focus on the content that you're giving out, the value that you're giving out, and the techniques. You need to know how to work with it. Like, if you know cool techniques like the dolly zoom. Remember, am I doing zooming out? So I'm gonna go in. The dolly zoom. That's the dolly zoom. Do you see that? Let me try it again. Woo! That's the dolly zoom. The background moved, but I didn't move. Isn't that cool? And I actually have another separate video for that if you guys wanna check that out in the cards. And it really comes down to your knowledge on it. So you really gotta focus on the techniques. You gotta focus on what you know, and you gotta be able to put out that really, really good content, regardless of the quality. If you can pull off some really cool stuff, Tarantino, his movies are not in 4K. They were shot in 1990s. His videos have extremely weird sound effects, really cool techniques when shooting, really a, a really good story. He, he knows what he's doing when it comes down to the movies, so he puts it all out regardless of the quality. You could give him a 720p camera right now, he can shoot an amazing movie. Sure, it wouldn't be ethical, but most of the movies aren't ethical. But the movie would be really good. I mean, you, you really don't need that quality. The quality is just a bonus. If you can get the quality, take the quality. Shoot at the highest possible frame rate, the highest possible quality that you can, because if you have it, why not use it? You don't need it. But if you really do want that quality, there are so many ways around it. A lot of times, I buy a lot of used gear. So everything that I have, almost everything, except for the 1DX and my Mavic, I bought used. All of that stuff was bought used because I'd rather save off half of the price with like a little dent in the lens or something like a little mark like a like a scratch on it or something not even the lens everything works fine pictures turn out fine images turn out fine but it's just a little cosmetic wear I don't I really don't care if someone comes up to me and like yo bro there's a there's a scratch on your lens you, Ugh, you're, you're not a good photographer like come on dude really I really don't care of the appearance of my lens my gear they could be scratched up There's, there could be no logo the entire camera could be scratched up white and I would still use it if the images came out the same exact way um, look here this this happened to my 60 I dropped it I can't lift this up I can't wear a strap but the camera still works completely fine, and I'm not gonna throw it away. I bought this used, and I'm gonna keep it. It, work, it works well, images come out great, and <laughs> what's the point of not buying used? It doesn't really matter. Sure, there's so many things that come with, I don't know if it still works, I don't know if there's it's gonna die faster or whatever. Of course it's gonna die a little faster, but it honestly works for me. I really don't care. If you buy it used, you save so much money in the long run, and you get so much usable gear. So I bought this three years ago, upgraded my camera, and this still has so much life in it left. There's so much shutter life in it left. It's, it's worth it. You, investing in use saves you so much money. I, I could have spent 
like twice as much money if I decided to buy everything new, but I didn't. All my lenses have been used. Every camera has been used except for the 1DX. Almost all my gear I bought used and I saved so much money from it. And you know, people are like, wow, he has so much money. No, I, I really don't. I invest all my money in the gear and I always buy it used. So it kind of works out that way and it just really knocks everything out of the way and gets everything faster. So don't be so pressed about buying things new. Just make sure if you're buying it used that it still works and that the cosmetic doesn't affect the quality of the images. And um, I think that's gonna be all for today. So Jason, thank you so much for your question. If anybody else has any questions, please feel free to address them on my Instagram page, which is gonna be right here, right here, right there. And um, even in the comments below here on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, make sure you remember you guys to, to, to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys really hit it and just mm, like this red shirt, that red subscribe button. Just hit that thing. Actually, I don't know if it's red anymore. Was it ever red? No, it was like yellow. Was it red? I don't know. Is it red? I think it's red. Um, thanks for watching again. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. I really hope you guys enjoy this thing. If you guys are working on a budget, remember to let me know in the comments below what you're shooting with, what you're working on, what, you know, if you're on a budget. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys again, and I uh, stay awesome. Yep.